Hey guys, uh, today I'm gonna be doing Q&A, so let's get started with the video. But before I get started with the video, I have to do an introduction. If you're new here, my name is Koki and I do content creation and I'm a freelance photographer here in Tokyo. So yeah, check out my Instagram if you're new and let's, let's dive right into it. So I'll be answering the questions that I got from Instagram and yeah, let's get on with the questions, shall we? What are your travel plans after the pandemic? So after the pandemic, I really want to go to Iceland and South Africa. That was a plan this year, but 2020 um, happened and that was ruined, unfortunately. But I'm really lucky because I got to travel to Bangkok in January and I went to Finland and also Stockholm, Sweden with the subway tunnels or the train stations. They were amazing. Such a good exploration there and I had a good time. So I was very fortunate to be able to travel to those countries before all this happened. So hopefully 2021, I'll be able to go to Iceland and South Africa. Why do you travel? I travel because I like the experience. I like seeing new places, exploring it, and the experience that comes with it, especially like talking to new people that really, like really, you grow as a person, I think. Um, as a human you can like you feel you grow and you get educated and you understand how people think and how other cultures work and yeah culture in general like you get to explore and experience new cultures food as well it's just a whole lot of experience in one so that's why i like traveling but also because i get to photograph beautiful places take videos of it share it with you guys and yeah that's the whole reason i feel like Favorite adventure of photography so far? I think Peru, also Finland. Finland was amazing, but I think Peru. Ah, oh, that's a hard one. That's like a good, that's like those, t one of those, one of those, Finland or Peru. Favorite lens to use for cityscape shots. I like the 16 to 35 2.8 G Master lens. Versatile, sharp, it gets the work done, super good. How did it all begin with your photography? It began when I actually started like exploring abandoned places. I went to this abandoned amusement park. It's called Dreamland. It's demolished now, but um, that was a good exploration. And I met Nick, who I became friends with out of the blue when I was exploring. And we went to a rooftop in Tokyo and that was kind of like the whole start, I feel like. Best ramen restaurant in Tokyo. So a lot of people think ramen's from Japan, but it's not like, people ask me, but it's not Japanese food. It's like going to the United States and being like, hey, what's the best pizza around here? Okay, well, they have a lot of pizzas that are like known to be one of the best in the world, but that's, that's not the story, but I'm trying to say that, what's your favorite thing to film, take photos? I think, I like everything and that's also the reason why my feed is what it is right now. I do post anything and everything I like. Any editing tips for a beginner photographer? So for photography, I think the main important aspect is when you take a photograph. If you take a photograph that has flat lighting, nothing's lit, nothing's like light up properly. It's just like a cloudy day say on a landscape. It's going to be so hard to edit. Actually, it's going to be impossible to edit as good as when if you were to take a photograph in sunset and the, I don't know, the lights hitting the landscape, the mountains and whatnot, that will be so much easier to edit. And hence, I recommend you guys to edit photos that are shot well. So give up all the photos that are crap and flat because they're not going to work. That's what I do. And yeah, editing will be super easy. I don't know if that really answered the question, but that's what I can give you guys right now. What's your favorite lens for portraits? Uh, 35 4 for Tokyo, because it's wide enough for like tight spaces. But in general, the 50 4 the Zeiss 50 4 the best lens for portraits, like hands down. Like one of my favorite photos is shot on a 50 4 so yeah. Any plans on coming to Korea? Korea, it's super close to Tokyo, uh, Japan in general. So yes, if I can, 2021, probably. If you weren't doing the job you're doing now, what job would you do? That's a good question. I'll probably do, I'll probably be working at Apple. Coming back to YouTube. Yes, I'm coming back to YouTube. 
and therefore I'm making this video, the Q&A, to start off or kickstart, kickstart back, get back to YouTube. Yeah, that's the word. Are you going to make photography walks before cold starts? It's already cold though. It's already cold. But also the pandemic. I can't host a big event during this time. So probably next year, later next year, I'll probably plan something big. If this pandemic is like settled or like over because of the vaccine, it should be good. It should be good. But um, not this year. Definitely not this year. Favorite breakfast food? Cereal or a piece of banana? What do you use for your aerial shots? I use a Mavic 2 Pro. What's one beautiful thing you find in photography? The idea of being able to showcase everything in one image, like telling a story in one image, that's probably one of the most beautiful things about photography. What is your life goal? I actually don't really like to talk about it because the more you talk about it, I feel like in your head subconsciously, you achieve it. So yeah. I'm not going to talk about it, but eventually on YouTube, I'll, you'll probably be able to like know or like I'll tell you guys if I get to that point. If I get to the point that I'm achieving the goal, then I'll tell you guys. How does freelancing feel like in Japan? It's really different. I feel like I haven't really freelanced anywhere else in the world, but you really have to know clients or like Japanese and then like be able to type or reply to clients in Japanese and Japanese email is really hard like back and forth it's a lot of work and you have to know a lot to be able to like have a proper like negotiation and conversation unlike in english where it's like hey someone 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 and then it's like straight to the point boom done sincerely your name send it off it's not that easy so i think that's like really difficult but other than that it's I think the budget or the rate for photography and videography is way low compared to United, United States. It's probably like one fifth or like at the most one third. What did you study? I studied photography on YouTube and I did um, two majors at Sydney University and I did visual visual arts and critical thinking. Do you accept pre-wedding shoots around Tokyo? I actually haven't done any of them but if yeah, like why not? How do you be more productive? I think the best way to be productive, and this is a scientific fact, is eat at your like dining table or kitchen. Work at a space where it's just for work. So don't have your bed and your workspace like I have right here uh, together. It's really bad. Just have everything separate. That's the best way to be productive. It's so easy and most effective way to switch your mindset and yeah that's the best way i think that's what i think most of your prints are sold out but do you have plans to sell more of other sizes i do not actually i haven't been promoting my prints because of the pandemic and the regulations for shipping is ridiculous i can't ship to the united states or australia the uae and a few more countries so yeah, that's that. But also, I'm not going to sell any of these photos that are all sold out right now currently because that's limited edition. If you sold out, it's going to be sold out for good and it's not going to be sold for forever. What kind of videos are you planning to make? Trying to make more videos that are more educational in a way. So, so say a whole process of making a photograph. I would like to like document it and show you guys the process because that's interesting and that's the kind of videos I like watching on YouTube as well. There's more to a photograph that I post on Instagram. So all that will be on YouTube, especially tomorrow. Same time as this video, I'll be uploading a video tomorrow, um, a day of series. And tomorrow will be the day of portrait series. And I'll be shooting a day of portraits and you guys can see my process and the results. It'll be cool. So make sure you're subscribed to this channel and put the bell um, notification on. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wrap it at that. Had a good time doing the Q&A. Thanks for all the questions. If you're new to the channel, make sure you're subscribed because you don't want to miss my future videos. And if you do, you don't have to subscribe actually. Um, but yeah, that's a bad way to promote this channel. But um, yeah, most of you guys that are watching this video are subscribed to my Instagram or followed and subscribe to my YouTube. If not, why not? why not subscribe but make sure you come back to this channel tomorrow at the same time as today because the new video will be out but other than that stay safe stay curious and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out